Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars and Huey Outdoors. We're going to have another episode on the pig rig, the ultimate night hunting rig here, the Huey Outdoors Lone Star Boars vehicle. We got the Lone Star Boars vehicle up there, the Land Cruiser, and the Huey Outdoors vehicle, the Tundra here. Uh, it's a new add-on to this vehicle, and it is the Rove IR. These are now available at Huey Outdoors. We have the 19 and 35 millimeter. 19 millimeter gives you a real wide field of view if you're hunting real thick stuff. 35 millimeter gives you a little bit farther detection range, a little bit more zoom. For me, I chose the 35 millimeter for, for my rig. It fits perfectly what I, what I do. There is rarely something that comes out that changes the whole way that I hunt. Night vision came along. My first night vision drastically changed what I did. Thermal came along, drastically changed what I did. Silencers came along. Well, they didn't come along, but they were coming along to me. They were new to me, and they somewhat changed what I did. I did change up my techniques. Those are all three things that I wouldn't leave the house without now. The Rove IR is now added to the list. It is amazing for if you're vehicle dependent if you hunt out of a vehicle if you do surveys if you're search and rescue law enforcement anything like this this system is absolutely amazing if it's raining outside you can keep the windows up and you can still scan you can scan forward if you're on properties where you have public roadways and you can't drive on them with the lights out you can still scan your your fields and see if there's anything out there so amazing um one of the great things that I learned about it, and you'll see in the footage here, is because of the height, I am seeing about 50% of the hogs and coyotes that I've found after using the Rove IR have come to, when I go to look at them with my handheld monocular or my night vision, I can't see them because of the, the landscape, the, the hills, different things. Uh, with it being up high, when I go look for them, they don't exist. I would have totally missed them the, the way I used to hunt, and, and I've been missing them for years. With the Rove IR, I'm even going to try to get it up higher, I think. But with the Rove IR up there, it gives me that angle. I can look down on stuff and spot stuff that I would have never seen. Uh, let's, let's go and um, I'm going to bring the camera in. We're going to look what comes in the box. We get a very nice box here, case that it comes with. You have your main cable that runs from the box to the camera here. And this is a 35 millimeter unit. It has very strong magnets on the bottom here that you can attach to your vehicle. Or it has these points here where you can permanently attach it or hard attach it, which is what I do. And we'll, I'll show you how I attached mine here in a minute. This is the brains. This is what connects this. This cable connects the brains to the camera. You have a suction cup mount to mount the screen. Here's the screen. It's a seven inch screen and we'll, we'll look at the one that's mounted in the truck here in a minute. HDMI cables to run to the screen. And then here's your power system. Really the, the only thing, the hardest part for me hooking this up was running this through the firewall and and that wasn't that hard but it was that's the only difficult thing about setting this whole thing up and then here's your remote control it looks like a little Wii controller you have a joystick and you have two buttons that do different functions that we're going to go over here in a minute all right this is how i have mine set up i have my screen up here on a mount now it comes with the mount that you can you can attach to your windshield I already had this system set up, and we'll talk about this system in a later video. But I have the box down here, out of the way. I power up the unit. I power up the screen. The joystick sits right here, so I can drive with my night vision on and scan and still use the, the system. A screen comes up, and then you're live, and you're able to pan around and see everything front back sides up down it's amazing let me get the camera and and bring it in just to show you a few things that that, that i tweaked for me so here's my screen you have where it's pointing when you turn it 
that rotates. So if you get turned around and you lose orientation, you can always look right here and that's your orientation. You have your zoom up here, your 2x, at 2x right now, and then here's your main screen. Now for me, my problem was using night vision, this is blinding me. So I came up with this, this is extra. I took a Velcro tape, this turns it down even when you're looking directly on it. But what it is, it's a protect, it's a privacy screen for a laptop that I cut down to fix this. The more you turn it to the side, the less light comes through until it's totally invisible. So when I'm driving, I turn it with night vision, I turn it at night just enough to where I can see it. And it doesn't blind me from when I'm driving night vision, using night vision, it doesn't blind other people in the truck. If you need it more, you turn it straight on and you can see it perfect. So um, I have it mounted here using ram mounts and I'm able to lower it down if I need to, raise it up, put it where people can see. I'm, I'm actually thinking about configuring a way to run it to the back seat. Again, here is your, your joystick and you see it move. You can hit the, this button here and we just went to the different color palette. Here we go, we hit it again. Now we're on black hot. If you press and hold, you are recording. There's our little record symbol. We'll take that off. Now how I have it wired up in my truck is it, it just goes directly to the battery. And then I have mine right here at the edge of my seat. My feet never hit it. It's out of the way. It's up off the ground. Um, protected here. So that's the brains to the whole system. Okay guys, like we talked about earlier, it comes with a magnetic mount or a permanent mount. Now, I have the Prinsu uh, cab rack roof rack on here, so I could put it down, but the bars and stuff start getting away. And again, I want it up a little bit higher. So what I did, I originally got this to uh, mount Pelican gun cases up here for like recovery gear, stuff like that, just to, to have some extra space. And when the Rove IR came out, I'm like, this is gonna be perfect because this is a locking device. So it still snaps on there very well. This is the EO2 system. And the reason for this is I don't want anybody just running off with this thing. These are not cheap. So I was able to find this system and you don't have to lock it down. They, they sell these without locks. I got the locking system just because, again, this is a high dollar item. And originally, the original plan was I was going to hook Pelican cases here. And everybody, when they see Pelican cases, think that there's guns inside, so they try to take them. And this just, it makes it easier to move. If I want to go inside, you saw how I just popped it off there. If I want to take it inside with me, I can take it inside with me. If, I, if we're just stopping to get gas and I don't want a uh, local John Bob meth dealer coming up and trying to take it off, he's not going to get it off um, in just a few seconds. There's going to need work, be work involved to get it off of here. So uh, it affords me the option to be able to remove it when I need it or leave it on there uh, when I want it up here. So what everybody's been waiting for here is the footage from the Rove IR 35 millimeter. We have a coyote at about 50 yards and we have a boar at a cattle feeder right at 100 yards. Now the interesting thing about this is you can't tell, I'm driving the truck, I cannot see this coyote, I cannot see the feeder, I cannot see the boar at this point. There's a hedgerow, the farm road that I'm on is, is down in a low area, the, the pecan orchards are up higher. So I'm in this low area because of the hedgerow and the, the lowness of the road, I'm unable to see them with my night vision or thermal monocular, but I was able to spot them with the Rove IR. I would have had to dr drive another about 100 yards down the road and look back to see these guys. So it worked out very well in this situation. There's the boar going back to the feeder. Now I'm gonna, I cut out a bunch cause there's a, 
I just watched a bunch of footage just to show you a what a human sized target would look like. I fast forward through here. Here I am walking. I'm going to walk about half the distance to 50 yards and take out some of these pigs. Took out the first one. Second one's across and he drops right there. Of course, scan around, look for anything else. This next clip, we have a big boar out. He's about 300 yards from the camera here. We're going to walk out and take him out. We don't want to spook him because it's a full moon and these are wide open fields. He'll see us coming. He's right there to the right of a dump truck that you can see there on the side of the road. And I'll just let this play through a little bit. We'll fast forward it some just so you can see. But again, this is what human sized targets. We're probably out to about 50 yards now. And again, this boar was in a position that going down the road like this, we would have not been able to use thermal without looking out the, the windshield. So we were able to look forward and see him without having to angle the truck or anything. So it was another spot where all the only option we had was night vision. And this boar was a light colored boar. He did not show up. Off to the right of the screen down there, just on the horizon, that is a cow. Now we've made it to our point, waiting for him to get a good shot here, and he decides to walk behind the dump truck here for a few minutes and slows the process down. Again, this is still fast forward. And this is what we stopped about 50 yards so we're around 250 yards away the dump truck is about 275 and like I said he's around 300 from the rove IR at this point he comes back out gives us a good broadside and um, gets dropped In the previous clips, I was using a screen recorder so you could see the pan tilt options and everything like that. This is what you get when you record with the device directly to the SD card. You actually only see what the main screen sees. And um, here we have a bunch of cattle just showing you what it looks like when you hit the record button. and going through a couple of color palettes here. Okay, we have a lone boar and some very tall grass. He's about 30, 40 yards from the vehicle. He doesn't even know we're there. He feels very safe because of the tall grass. It's from waist to chest high. I cannot see him with night vision. I cannot see him with my thermal monocular from the truck. With the Rove IR up on top, you get the angle, and I spotted him. I didn't spot him even with the Rove IR until I panned over to the side here. I'm going to take him from the truck. I'm going to climb up and use my door as a rest and shoot from there so I have the angle to shoot down on him. If it's a single, v single hog like this, don't be afraid to take it out if you know you can do it. But for the love of God, people, stop shooting into the groups from your vehicles when they know and they hear you pull up. You are training these hogs to run from cars right now. They feel safe because most cars drive by them. When you shoot at them from your vehicle and any of them survive, every time they hear a car coming down a gravel road, they're going to run. Stop shooting at groups from your vehicles. That's my public service announcement. All right, hog goes down. Get a little stanky leg action here. He took a shot to the dome. See a little leg up there in there, and here I am going to check him out. 
Another short clip of a coyote that I could not see with night vision. He's back behind a hedgerow and he's in some thick brush. Rove IR was able to spot him and keep on him there for a little bit. It is unbelievable the amount of coyotes that I spot within 30, 40 yards of my truck that don't even care that I'm there. Here's another coyote. I'm opening a gate and I look over and I see I'm down in the low area. You can tell that he's almost level with the Rove IR. When I look over, again, another coyote within 40 yards of my truck that doesn't even care that I'm there, but I couldn't see with night vision or thermal. I just happened to pan over there looking to see out in the field and notice he was just sitting there waiting for me to go on. Again, another coyote that is coming to the truck. He's actually coming up close to me. Just showing you a different couple of color palettes here, but not afraid, not worried. I could see him with night vision and my thermal monocular from the truck. He's in an open field, but I spotted him early with the ability to look forward through where I normally I would have to look through the windshield. He is a about 60 yards. Again, another coyote, a little bit down the road, just sitting there checking out. When I stopped, he's obviously met somebody shooting from a vehicle before because he was not happy. But there he is. You could still probably get your shot off. Here we go, we're at 75 miles per hour highway speeds. We're scanning pecan orchards here. Have a few cattle back there. And then as I pan to the other side, normally it's up high and you can't see into the orchard on this side, but with the Rove IR, I can see. And there's a boar that I was able to spot and eventually go back and kill about 20 minutes later after I got into that pasture. Guys, I've taken this system. I've got it up to 95 miles per hour. I've left it on the truck almost constantly since I've had it. It's been through rain. It's set in the sun. Highway speeds off-road, bumping around mud. Um, the only thing is it hasn't been cold here, so I haven't tested in the cold, but it has held up to everything. It's only been, I've only had it for three weeks, but used it constantly. I leave this thing turned on. For the second that I hit the, the off the road and I'm out hunting, this thing is turned on and stays on all night. Um, I found it very, very useful and an important thing. I, I can't see a, a guide service, any kind of high fence ranch, um, any kind of pest control guys I, I don't see I mean you can function without it but you're not going to function to the same level without a system like this it is uh, truly amazing I had my doubts at first I got to play with the first prototypes I didn't like how it blinded the night vision um, but after using it in the field myself I I've changed my mind it, it, is, it is amazing it was worth adapting to and and finding out the little screen protector and stuff uh, just for the amount of hogs and, and coyotes that I was missing. I think I'm going to get uh, an extra screen to put in the back for passengers. We all know we hunt with those people that never use thermal. Every skunk, every armadillo, everything is a target. That way you're looking at the same thing with them and you can tell them that's an armadillo, that's this, that's that. Makes the night go way smoother. And like I've already stated before, but I can't get over it. I'm telling you, my the amount of animals that I was missing by being just this much lower. I mean, we're only talking about three foot difference here, but that three foot difference, I'm seeing so much more. And I'm, I'm gonna raise it up even higher. It, it, it's just amazing. These are hard to keep in stock right now. I do have one of each in stock at the time of making this video. I hope, hope I'll have more soon, but they're a brand new item. They're really hot. I wanted to get out and use it. Uh, people have been asking me, and I, I try not to put my name on anything that I haven't used, but this is a quality product. It's way overbuilt. It's a good product. If you have any comments below, if you have any questions, give me a call. Telephone number's on the website. It's, it's in this video. 
Uh, give me a call and I'll answer the questions the best I could. Thank you for watching.